Good morning, STM. It's February 6th, and it's beginning for us to start celebrating Black History Month. So with that, join me in a prayer for diversity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. May the God who created the world, a world of diversity and vibrancy, go with us as we embrace life in all its fullness. May the Son who teaches us to care for stranger and foreigners, go with us as we try to be good neighbors in our communities. May the spirit who breaks down our barriers and celebrates community go with us as we find courage to create a place welcome for all. St. Thomas More, pray for us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I'm going to remain on here, so if you're in the hallway, you can make your way to your classes. And if you're in your classrooms, you can have a seat. So we're entering Super Bowl week, and uh, I saw this quote online from Eagles coach Nick Sirianni. He said, highly successful people get a little better every day. And that's our challenge as we move into semester two. Make sure that each of us is getting a little better. Uh, some of us need to get a lot better on some things, but certainly we can get a little better today with attendance and punctuality, with accepting and seeking help, with respecting each other and our teachers and the adults in the building, with handing in our best work on time. All of these things were lacking in some areas. And I know that many of you actually did these things well and did these things greatly this past semester. And what I'm asking you, if you're one of those people, is to continue the great work you're doing, but more importantly, to help someone else along, a friend of yours or somebody who isn't quite doing that. Help inspire them, to, to bring them along, to raise them to your level, because as much as I might think I have an influence the biggest influence at St. Thomas More is going to be the peer influence. And so I'm challenging and hoping that our peers will be good inspirations to each other as we begin semester two. Hope you have a great day at St. Thomas More. Good morning, STM, and welcome to semester two. A couple of important announcements from guidance. The drop and ad period will run from today through to next Monday, February the 13th. Today's appointments will be for conflicts only and will be on a drop-in basis. Only those students that have a conflict will be seen today. For example, if you do not, do not have the prerequisite or if you have previously taken a course that you have this semester or if you have a spare on your schedule that you shouldn't have. Teachers, prerequisite lists have been placed in your mailboxes. Please send down any student that does not have the prerequisite for your class or email the appropriate grade level guidance counselor today. For all other timetable requests, students are asked to book an appointment through the online booking system, which is currently open. A friendly reminder, there will be no teacher or lunch changes, so please do not waste your time or hours. Secondly, the next potential graduates list will be posted by the end of this week. Only those students that will have 30 credits by the end of this school year have earned the literacy requirement either through passing the OSSLT or the OLC course and have completed their 40 hours of Christian service will be on this list. The March 1st deadline to submit your Christian service hours is quickly approaching. Only those students that have met all three requirements will be eligible to participate in this year's graduation activities. You don't want to miss out, class of 2023. Have a great start to your semester, STM. Good morning, STM. My name is Micheli. And my name is Chiara, and these are your announcements for today. From Ms. M. Fortino, please dismiss the members of the Novice Boys Basketball Team at 2.30 p.m. to prepare for their game against BT in BT's gym. Boys, please be in the gym on time, ready for warm-up. Also, please remember to pay for your warm-up shirts on School Cash Online ASAP. To all the students interested in the STM Math Club, there will be a meeting on Wednesday after school in Portable 3. Students with any questions, please see Mr. Castellani. This is a reminder to all girls interested in trying out for senior girls soccer that tryouts will be starting. If you are not signed up, please go see Mr. Carboni in room 138 in period 1, 2, or 3 ASAP. There will be a session tomorrow morning in the gym at 6.40 a.m. 
If you have not handed in a permission form, you have to do that or you won't be allowed to participate. For any grade 11, 12, and 12 plus students interested in trying out for the senior badminton team, there will be a brief sign up meeting tomorrow after school in the health room. And now for your sports. This past weekend, your junior boys basketball team competed in the prestigious Father Kennedy Tournament. The Knights opened up with a 20, 20 point win over Assumption Burlington and in the quarterfinals after being down as many as 20 points rallied back to lose to eventual tournament finalists St. Mike's 69 to 64. Special thank you to Mr. Giovanangeli and Mr. D'Angela for all the work they put into this tournament. Players are reminded to be at Bishop Tonus at 4.30 today for their final regular season game. It's night time. Thanks STM. Jean Augustine was born in Happy Hill, Granada on September 8, 1937. As a student, Augustine expressed interest in music, radio broadcasting, and teaching. She became a teacher, but the pay was low. After learning about opportunities in Canada, Augustine applied for a nanny position through the West Indian Domestic Scheme. The program, which operated from 1955 to 1966, enlisted foreign women to fill the growing need for nannies in Canada. In exchange for working in family homes for one year, the young women were given landed immigrant status. Augustine arrived in Canada in 1960 and worked for one year in the Forest Hill neighborhood of Toronto. After completing her contract, Jean earned her Ontario teaching certificate and joined the Metropolitan Separate School Board as an elementary school teacher. Augustine was an activist in Toronto's Caribbean communities throughout her teaching career, volunteering with grassroots organizations to strengthen immigrant and women's rights and to combat violence against women, drug abuse, and poverty. In 1967, she served on the committee that helped organize the first Caravana Festival. In 1973, Augustine founded the Toronto chapter of the Congress of Black Women of Canada, which she later became the national president. Jean was ambitious. While working full-time, she earned a Bachelor of Arts and later a Master of Education. Her efforts led to the promotion to the rank of Vice Principal and then Principal in the Toronto District Catholic School Board, where she served until 1988. Jean Augustine was nominated as the Liberal candidate for the Etobicoke Lakeshore District on the 25th of October 1993. An enthusiastic, intelligent, and charismatic woman, Augustine won the seat and became the first black woman elected to the House of Commons. She was also appointed Secretary of the State of Multiculturalism and the Status of Women, making her the first black woman to achieve a post in cabinet. As a member of parliament, Augustine tackled issues that were important to her riding, to women, and to Canadians. In the mid-1990s, Jean Augustine played a crucial role in establishing Black History Month in Canada. Though individual communities had celebrations as far back as the 1950s, none existed federally. Community service has defined Jean Augustine's life and career. There are multiple scholarships, funds, and initiatives in her name. She received many awards and accolades for her hard work and achievement, including the Order of Canada and honorary degrees. There's even a Jean Augustine Center for Young Women Empowerment and Jean Augustine Secondary School dedicated in her honor. Good morning, St. Thomas More. I'm Mason Jovanangeli. And I'm Marella Runco, and we're here with some student council announcements for you. First, we would just like to wish everyone a great start to second semester. A new semester gives you the opportunity for new beginnings, so let's hit the ground running with a proper start to the new semester. If you have pre-ordered a crew neck, this is just a reminder that they're ready to be picked up at the council office on your lunch period. Make sure you have proof of purchase ready to show. Last but not least, Knights, it's February, and everyone knows what that means. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, which also means it's candy gram season. That is right, STM. If you have some, someone special in mind you want to send a candy gram to, make sure you're following us on Instagram and TikTok at STM underscore council for more info on how much candy grams will be and how the whole process works. Thanks, Knights, and have a great start to semester two. The first time seeing this is it, I've had enough. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 824, and remember, it's a great day to be a knight.